and that's what I get for trying to hurry. See, I set up this arbitrary 15 minute mark, and then when I try to run the program, this isn't running right. Um, it compiles fine, but the problem is this text one name is not a string. And so I do need to use the dot equals method, but I need to get the text first. So what I need to do is this. So instead of text name one dot equals um, and then uh, blank, I'm going to do text name one dot get text. So I'm going to get the text first, which is going to be string coming in, then dot equals a blank. So if that string that comes in equals a blank, or I could pull it into a variable, maybe that would make you more comfortable. And that's that's what I try to do. I try to make you comfortable. String uh, name one is going to be equal to uh, text name one dot get text. String name two is equal to text name two dot get text. Okay, so after we've gotten the text, does this make you more comfortable? No? If name one, what we read in from the screen, dot equals a blank, then do this. Otherwise, if name two equals a blank, then let's see if this works instead. I know what you're thinking. Not likely. Let's just let's just wait. Give me the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so there we go. Now we're missing name one. If I enter name one, then it will say missing name two. And then if I enter my wife's name, crossing my fingers. Yes. Love is in the air. Okay, so we've created this little goofy compatibility thing. And it seems to be working as far as what we want it to do. Now we could add in other options. We could have it get different numbers and come up with, you know, you can make it work, you know, kind of a thing um, for fun. But, but this is the general idea. We add elements onto the form. And these aren't the only elements, by the way. We have check boxes and we have drop downs and we have lots of different things to choose from. But this is the basic idea. We, we set up the elements, we add them to the form in the order we want them to be added, or we, use, we can use different layouts to, to say, I want in this section to add this element. And we can use layouts with, excuse me, within layouts to do, um, uh, you know, if I want to do a grid layout inside a uh, flow layout, um, then I can put that entire layout in it would probably be the other way around. It would make more sense to flow layout inside a grid layout. But we can we can do that. And so this isn't meant to be an all-encompassing, uh, you know, in-depth interview into everything that the we can do with GUI. This is just the beginning, right? This is what I really wanted to do in this. Uh, video was to nail down this idea of actions being performed. We set up the action, we attach it to a particular uh, element, a button, a label, or whatever it is, and then we perform the action based on that label. And so um, this is the basic idea, and hopefully, having got it now through it now a couple of times it, it makes a little more sense. Um, we can use a uh, get action to know um, from that action event that was passed into us we can use a get action to know exactly what the action was. Um, and uh, anyway my point is there's a lot more to this. This isn't the end, but, but this is an introduction to uh, GUI programming, which is what a lot of what we do. Java is used a lot in the web in particular, and so we create these web forms that pop up, and we fill them out, and we click on a button, and it pops up another form, and, and that's how real programming is done. All right, well, hopefully this example was helpful. 
um, even with all the hiccups in it. And uh, there's not much more to say other than Spencer out.